this is Tim Stack from the Utah Education Network and I want to talk a little bit about using Keynote as a uh, presentation tool on your iPad. Um, before we get into the, the really basics of, of or fundamentals of how to um, build the slides and use this tool on your iPad, uh, it might be kind of interesting and I think useful to go through some of the features of Keynote um, and how Keynote works with the iCloud system. Uh, I think it can be a, a, a great tool for moving your documents around and um, sharing it and even collaborating. Uh, so for instance, um, lots of folks out there regularly use PowerPoint. So I've opened up PowerPoint here um, and a, I'm on a Mac computer uh, or an Apple computer but um, PowerPoint works about the same whether you're on a Mac or a PC and this idea of using iCloud uh, will work the same as well so many of us have been using PowerPoint for quite a while if you're a classroom teacher you may have lots of PowerPoints you've created or you might be having students create PowerPoints um, so if I'm doing that and then I want to use Keynote here on my iPad. Um, in the past, this has been kind of a problem, this idea that I'm creating something in a Microsoft product, but then I want to use it on, in, uh, on an Apple product. So um, that's all sort of solved. It's much easier than it has been in the past. So let's say I've got this PowerPoint and I want to, to you know, present from my iPad or be able to present and maybe edit edit this from my iPad. Uh, so how do I get it from my computer onto my iPad? So Apple's uh, built in some nice features into iCloud that make that possible. Okay, so let's just pretend I've been working on this, uh, this PowerPoint here and I'm going to save it. Okay, so I've saved it to my this computer. Let me just uh, turn on hide PowerPoint for a second. Um, now, if I want to use this PowerPoint either be able to edit it in the browser online on any computer or if I want to open it up on my iPad and present from my iPad or edit it on my iPad I'm going to go to iCloud.com just in the browser window so I'm just in in this case Chrome but it doesn't matter um, you don't have to be in Safari so I'm in Chrome I've logged into my iCloud account so your iCloud um, you can see the URL right there, iCloud.com. Your iCloud account is just your Apple ID, the same Apple ID username and password you use to download apps with. So that same one, once you've logged in, you'll see this screen. All right, so I'm just going to go down to Keynote here. Um, and you can see it's still in beta, so they're still working on testing it. So often companies put that little beta symbol up there that that means you know if it doesn't work perfectly just give us a, give us a little bit more time uh, we'll get it working so um, so I'm going to go into Keynote alright so I can see these um, presentations that I have available for me now these presentations are stored in my iCloud account and one of the funny things that my brain sometimes does is it tries to um, this, this whole cloud-based technology thing is, is sometimes hard to get our heads around. So um, I think that Apple um, has all their iCloud um, headquarters and all the servers and computers in North Carolina. And I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I just think of iCloud as being in North Carolina. So when I s store something there, I just think that it's getting stored in North Carolina. So these are the um, presentations that I have in my Apple, in my Apple iCloud account and I just think of it more like they're in North Carolina and right now I'm just seeing them so I can uh, I'm just in the browser now I'm not on my iPad I'm just in the browser on any computer and I could go in and edit these I can create new ones right here so um, it's kind of if for those of you who use Google Docs it's kind of like that okay so these these documents here these presentations um, are stored there and I can access them all right, so, but I've got a new PowerPoint on this computer that I want to add to my keynote, to my iCloud account so that I can get to it on my iPad. All right, so I'm just going to open up um, the, the finder here so I can go find that document. Okay, so here is that PowerPoint that I made, and I want to 
put it on my iPad so I can um, edit it and use it to present from it. So I just open up this Finder, um, and if I was on a PC, I would just open up my, my computer and go and find this file, and I can just going to drag and drop it out here. And you can see a little yellow line shows up, a little hard to see there, but that ye little yellow line, you can see it just showed, lets me know that I'm over a place that I can drop, and I just let go of it. Let me just get this out of the way. <clears throat> and it uploaded it. Okay, so there it is now in my iCloud account. It still it still thinks it's PowerPoint, and it's doing a little conversion right now. Um, so I could uh, double click on this to open it up. Okay, so it just wants to open it up right here on my computer, and let me edit it. I'm not I'm not going to edit it here. I'm going to go back because what I really want to do is get it onto my iPad. All right, so I just dragged and dropped it into the keynote section of of iCloud.com after I was logged in. And now I'm going to switch over um, to my iPad, and you can see I've got Keynote running. And here in Keynote, the Keynote app on my iPad, um, you can see that same set of presentations. Okay, again, they're they're, they're stored in North Carolina, but I can access them through um, the Keynote app on my computer or from iCloud.com on my uh, I mean my Keynote app on my la uh, my iPad or uh, iCloud.com. All right, so I can, I'm just going to tap on this and open it up, because it was originally PowerPoint, right? Um, and often you'll get a little message here that says, hey, you know, th this PowerPoint, um, it's got a font on it that Microsoft uses, but we don't have it available on the iPad, which is fine, because um, I'm not that worried about the font. It's just going to replace it, so I'm OK with that. All right, so here it comes um, again another little font warning. All right, so now this PowerPoint has been converted to um, Keynote, and it's now on my iPad. And you can see it's on my iPad in a way that I can go edit, add to it, add more pages if I needed to, um, move these pages around if I needed to. So I have full editing capabilities, and when it comes time to present, you can see there's a little present button over here in the corner, so I could open it up and present um, right from my iPad. If I my iPad, of course, was connected to a projector of somehow, of some sort. All right. So um, let's say I'm finished editing this. I added a few things. Maybe I go back and I say um, maybe I just want to change my title. Um, so I'm just going to double click in there. Whoops. Let me just get my cursor in the right place. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Let me just back up. I'm going to say math and folding paper. So a little different title. Something like that. Okay, that's good. Alright, so I made a change. The change is automatically saved. When I go back to my presentations, um, that Keynote now that's right here. You can see it gets a little arrow. That just means I've made a change on my iPad and it wants to um, send that up to North Carolina, that change. And it already did it. It just does it automatically. That little arrow just told me that it was doing it. So if I went back to my computer or any computer, logged into Keynote, um, logged into iCloud and into Keynote, the Keynote section of iCloud, um, you'll see I will be able to access the updated version. So you can see the titles change now to the to the new title. I could open it up here and edit it. Okay, so I could open it up in the browser. Okay, still in the browser. I still have editing tools. So if I happen to be on a somebody else's computer, I just need to edit it quick, I could. So there it is ready for me to edit it. Um, also um, from here just um, I can uh, download this uh, if I wanted to I could download it back as a PowerPoint okay so I just uh, uh, held down option when I clicked or right clicked on it and you can see um, I can download this presentation and when I download it I get a choice of what kind of a file type I want it as so really handy to um, 
move documents or you know presentation style documents whether you created it in PowerPoint you created it in Keynote I can easily get it um, into my iCloud account just by dragging and dropping it from whatever computer I created it on once it's in my iCloud account I can easily open it up in my iPad if I have the Keynote app of course I can open it up on my iPad edit it make changes present from my iPad um, later when I go back to my computer or back to a computer I can access that file and I can download it back to my computer um, if you're using Keynote across the board if you're using Keynote on your laptop or on your computer Keynote on your iPad um, it automatically syncs changes. I don't have to download it. If I'm if I want this back as a PowerPoint, when I down I have to download the PowerPoint again to get the changes. It's not going to automatically sync. But if you're Keynote on your computer to Keynote on your iPad, it'll sync the changes automatically. Any changes you make. Okay, so that's um, Apple's part of Apple's iCloud system to help you get stuff back and forth. Um, Get these documents back and forth and they really made some I think some really nice improvements I you can see I use this quite a bit I've got lots of um, lots of presentations um, up in North Carolina that I can access and teach from and present from um, just right here on my iPad uh, okay so um, a couple of the features and about iCloud here <clears throat> if you uh, you want to use your iPad as a remote, or you have an iPod Touch? You can see up in the corner here. There's this little this little button. You can turn your iPad into remote for your presentation. So let's say you're presenting from your laptop, and you wanted to use your iPad to be able to walk around wirelessly and control the PowerPoint, the PowerPoint, or in this case, the Keynote that was playing from your computer. You can take these steps to uh, to, to turn your turn your device so it could be an iPhone it could be an iPod touch it could be an iPad it could be a remote for um, a keynote presentation so that's that little button there you can also um, share a link to your presentation so if you share a link to someone else who has um, uh, an iCloud account then that your PowerPoint I keep saying PowerPoint, your keynote, your presentation will show up in their iCloud account. You can both edit it. So it'll be, could be a collaborative project. Um, and that's what, you know, p potentially you could do with students, right? You would have them sharing links to their presentations, um, potentially. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, one thing about sharing the link if you share a link, then that presentation is automatically editable by that person that you share the link with. If you don't want it to be editable, you can um, add a password. Let me just open this up. Underneath the wrench tool over there, you can add a password. You can see it right down here. So you can set a password to this presentation so that when you do share a link, um, the person would only be able to view your slides without being able to edit them edit them unless you gave them the password so it's not one thing to sort of protect yourself all right all right so with that I'm going to end this um, this tutorial and in the next one we'll talk a little bit about actually um, the, 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 the fundamentals of editing and, uh, and creating slides right on your iPad <laughs>